Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you, Corey, for the wonderful introduction. That's why I would only choose you. <laughs> uh, so good afternoon, good evening, everyone. My name is Javon Fowler, um, but uh, everyone calls me Jay. I'm a 6.4 full stack web alum. And uh, Monday was my first day as an associate software engineer on the Reese product team at Moody's Analytics. Uh, first, I'd like to thank everyone that helped me on my journey. Uh, the list is insanely long, um, but there are a few special shout outs that I'd like to give. Uh, Corey, the list of ways that you've helped me are endless, uh, but I most appreciated the way that you put me on the road to an answer rather than telling me and challenged me to push my limits. I'd be remiss if I didn't remember mention your top-notch humor. Um, it's something that I look forward to every day, uh, especially uh, the Wacky Wednesdays uh, during COVID, uh, where you don a new persona for like the first 10 minutes of class. Caroline, my program manager, uh, you were really my lighthouse in the storm, and you were always my champion when I didn't know how to approach a situation, and you made me feel comfortable asking for help when help is something that I never really seek out. Uh, my campfire squad, uh, there's a whole lot of you in there, but decompressing with you all was really the cornerstone of my pursuit experience. We pushed each other to do better every day. And on the hardest days, we propped each other up. Uh, my girlfriend, Yashara, uh, who never once complained that the guy she'd only been dating a month uh, took up and decided to be a software engineer and could only see her once a week. Um, and even then was still working. And my family who believed in me when I didn't believe in myself, uh, despite all the mistakes, all the shortcomings um, that knew this day would come before I did. Before I started Pursuit, I was a research associate at Reese, uh, which Moody's acquired back in 2018. Uh, it's primarily a telephone surveying job. And my plan was to work and take online classes to finish my bachelor's in political science. Um, but when my grandpa got cancer, I decided to take some time away from school and help take care of my grandparents. Um, after I was officially withdrawn from school, uh, as we all know, student loans came knocking and it was just too difficult financially to return to school. And then my grandfather did pass. And though I was already 24, it felt like the first time I ever had to grow up. Uh, my safety net was gone and my heart was empty. Uh, my dad quit his job to focus on caring for my grandmother who has Parkinson's. And I had a mountain of delinquent debt that my grandma had co-signed for me, uh, ruining her credit because Instead of being a lawyer, I was a research associate and I couldn't afford to pay it back. I knew something had to give and I considered going back to school to finish my degree. But when I weighed the options, $45,000 as a political scientist wasn't gonna cut it. And being a part of a successful election campaign was a one in a million chance. So I needed to find a new career path. And since I've been a lifelong nerd and I love building computers, I decided I wanted to go into tech. I decided to try my hand at Year Up, uh, which teaches IT, but I was too old for the program just by a few months at 25. However, they enjoyed my resume and they were kind enough to share some alternatives. And one of those was Pursuit. And once I read about Pursuit, I knew it was it. The Pursuit schedule seemed daunting given the fact that it would require at least five days of commitment on top of needing to maintain my full-time work schedule. I even factored in that I'd have to come up with gas and toll to drive to Queens from my office in White Plains three days out of the week. And then from my house uh, in the Bronx, the other two, tried not to psych myself out about the what ifs and the what maybes because I didn't even apply yet. I liked the fact that I didn't need to apply for a loan. I mean, my credit shot, I already admitted that or offer any money up front. Um, and the chance to increase my salary from 35K to at least 60,000 or more uh, was too good to pass up. 
And since we all know how lucrative tech is and I loved working with hardware, becoming a software engineer felt like my natural fit. I decided to apply. And when I received my acceptance letter, I still had those fears that I mentioned before. How would I handle the time commitment? How would I afford gas and toll on a budget that was already tight? But I decided to take the leap anyway. The pursuit was challenging to make it work with my schedule. Uh, my manager helped me uh, create a flex schedule. So I produced five days worth of product productivity in four so that I could have one day to sleep in. I slept an average of four hours a night. And even on my day off, I ended up working because I had to learn how to code. I also had other chores and responsibilities. I battled crippling depression, ducking calls from debt collectors, and I could never slack on my productivity because I needed my day off. I was beyond exhausted. I contemplated quitting many, many times, but I persevered. And what made that possible was a family element here at Pursuit and the shared thread that I had with each person in my class and the community at large. We picked each other up time and time again. I learned how to look outside of myself for help because there were people who truly did everything in their power to help me succeed. I learned exactly how deep I could dig when everything was on the line. And I have a newfound confidence in my ability to overcome any obstacle that stands before me. I learned how to milk every last second in a 24 hour day. And most importantly, I learned I could change my community through tech just as much or more as I could by becoming a civil rights attorney. The skills I build, the soft skills I built helped me excel at my job. Despite the demanding schedule, I learned how to advocate myself and how to interpret things back to tech. This past quarter, uh, before becoming an engineer, I had the opportunity to work on a proof of concept for Moody's, um, and it wasn't related to tech, but I used it to bring attention to my skills and abilities. And I'm proud to say that I believe that is what led me to accepting the offer to be an associate software engineer. In the one year I've spent that pursuit, I increased my salary by 128%. And I've changed the trajectory of my life and my family forever. I made connections that I'll value for the rest of my life. And I built a brand new career. It certainly wasn't easy, but I'd do it a million times over. Uh, to my pursuit alum that are still on the search, keep the pressure on. This photo on a next season. I know how exhausted you must be and how much stress COVID has added but the opportunity you're looking for is right around the corner. But I, the people I'd like to speak to most is 7.0. Your journey will be hard and it will push you. It will probably break you, but you will learn how strong you are and always look to your left and look to your right. Pursuit as a family and everyone is here to support you, uh, including myself and everyone that's on this call. Every moment you have is an interview, and I say that not to be daunting or not to make you nervous, but to know that your brand, who you are as a person, is what markets you. If you are in a role and your company has engineers and that's an avenue, advocate for yourself. Tell your managers, tell your coworkers what you're doing. Show them what you're learning. You never know who's talking about you when you're not around. And if you ever feel underworked, uh, overworked, underappreciated, everyone feels that way. But never let up on the gas. You are your brand. If you let up and you slack off because you think you're going to find greener pastures somewhere else, people remember that. Your hard work will be rewarded either at this company or the next. Thank you so much, everyone. And uh, <laughs> now I'll ring the gong. finding the gong. Okay, uh, I hope everyone can see. Congratulations. Hey, everybody.